This is the weekly update for pregnant women and their families at this time of the COVID-19 pandemic. There are two new areas that will be briefly covered in this presentation. First, if you're not pregnant but thinking of becoming pregnant, should you delay? In other words, is it safe to embark on pregnancy now? The answer is yes you should feel entirely safe to become pregnant. The worldwide experience continues to tell us that pregnant women are no more likely than anyone else in the community to become severely ill from COVID-19 infection. This is not the same as for previous viral epidemics, and there are definite differences with this particular virus. And all the evidence continues to tell us that COVID-19 does not cause miscarriage, birth defects, preterm labour, or any of the other major complications of pregnancy. Second, you may be asking why your partner cannot be with you when you're having procedures such as ultrasound examinations. For many men, not being able to be present can be very challenging. Please know that it is entirely normal for partners to be distressed by this. Not only because making a family is one of the most wonderful and enthralling moments in our lives, but also because many of us have strong instincts that make us feel a need to protect our loved ones, even more so when she is pregnant and during the threat of this pandemic. But please be reassured, the reason to limit the number of people being allowed into small rooms is for social distancing to prevent spread of infection. Many people who have COVID-19 do not realise they are infected and so universal precautions are needed. As soon as it is safe to do so, this restriction will be lifted. At the time of this filming, Australia and New Zealand are having great success in flattening the curve and preventing new infections. We can now expect gradual lifting of many of the social restrictions that have impacted our lives. There will be a lot of monitoring to make sure there are no new outbreaks, but it is entirely possible we may have a second or even third wave of new infections. For that reason, please do not let your guard down. Keep your social distances, wash your hands frequently, and don't forget to have your flu and pertussis immunizations. This ends your weekly update for pregnant women and their families. I'll be back next Friday and hope to have some new information for you on exactly why this virus is different from those in viral infections we have seen before. Thank you.